Hi guys, you are welcome back to my channel. This is Brentech YouTube channel. Before we kick start the discussion for today, I want you to subscribe to this channel. This will help you to stay updated with our future videos. Today, I will be showing you how you can add reset the new Infinix Auth 30, which you can equally call X6831 Auth 30 of the Infinix brand. So before you can add reset your phone, which is the authority, you need to power off your phone. As you can see, I have power this device off. So after you are done powering off the phone, you press your power key and the up button together for a few seconds. One, two, go. When you see the Infinix logo, you release the power key and continue to hold the up key. As you can see, it is telling us no command. Do you know what we can do next? Let me show you what you can do next in order to add reset your odds 30. in order to remove no command from this device so it can take you to the add reset menu what you need to do is press and hold the power key and the up key for a few seconds or press the power key for a few seconds then you tap the up button press the power key for a few seconds then you tap the up button a few seconds tap the up button press the power key for a few seconds tap the up button up button as you can see I did what I told you I tap I tap the power key and the up button for a few seconds. Then the no command was history. So what you need to do again, let me tell you for the very last time, is to, to tap or to press the power key for a few seconds, then you leave it, then tap the up button. The no command will exit. So we are now in the reset menu. So what can you do next? What you need to do next is use your volume key, which is it has the volume down and the volume up. So use the volume down to navigate to where you can reset your device. So use the volume key to go down to wipe data stroke factory reset. So when you get to that level, the next thing to do is to use the power key. Use, press your power key to highlight wipe data stroke factory reset. So as you can see, the power key has helped us to navigate to to navigate to where you should reset your device. Use your down key 
the volume down key to navigate to factory data reset. After you get to factory data reset, press the volume key automatically the phone will start to add reset in few minutes the phone will return to when you bought it newly because i don't want to add reset this phone that is why i don't want to use the process of resetting it immediately so you can equally use this option to power off the device. All you have to do is to highlight it as I'm highlighting it. Then you click the power key and it will power off. You can equally use this option to reboot the device by highlighting it like this. Then you press the power key to reboot the device. Then after you might have used this wipe data factory reset to add reset the device you will need to wait for a few minutes after waiting for a few minutes the phone will add reset after add resetting for a few minutes you will see that the phone will now give you a setup a new setup as when you bought the phone newly so after that you see that you need to select your country after selecting the country you need to configure the phone after then it will take you to the desktop like this let me reboot the device so you can see what i mean to take you to the desktop of the device if you have any question do well to drop it in the comments section of this video like this video share it to your friends we have other video interesting videos in this channel do well to browse this channel you will see other interesting videos on how to re reset your different devices we equally have other videos that will help you to do other amazing things on your phone like Facebook, Instagram, how to do some amazing things on Facebook, on Instagram and other platforms like WhatsApp. We have interesting videos to help you to do this. Let me briefly show you how to reset your device in case you have the password of the device with you you can equally use these options to reset the device this is where you can reset your device you go to settings you check the bottom of the device you will see system you click on system then when you come down to the bottom of system under settings you see reset phone as you can see under this option you can reset your wi-fi settings you can reset your app preferences you can reset calibration parameters you can reset all data which is this is the all data i told you which you need to reset if you use reset all data erase all data you see that it will reset everything on the phone and the phone will return to when you bought it newly so before you do this do well to back up your contents like your contact your images some videos and whatsapp charts to google storage google drive by logging into your email address it will help you to do this your contacts you can back them up to gmail while doing that you see that after you successfully raise your phone you can easily restore all those things back to your phone and your phone 
will become new once again. Thank you for the time you took while this video lasted. If you have any question, you can drop it in the comments section of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification button. This will help you to stay updated each time we drop a new video. Thank you for watching. Stay put for the next video. Bye for now.